I'm High Hill Knight. Welcome to my channel. This is my review of Overlord. I give the movie a C minus. Overlord takes place at the tail end of World War II. It's about Private Boyce. He is fresh out of boot camp. He and his squadron are sent on a special mission to infiltrate enemy lines and take out a radio tower. That way, the attacking forces of the Allied powers can successfully do D-Day. But during the mission, they discovered that there is a sinister plot by the Nazi regime to create the ultimate super soldiers. So, along with uh, ensuring the success of D-Day would destroy the tower, they also have to make sure they can eliminate the super soldiers. So one of the things I liked about this movie is that even though it takes place uh, during that World War II period and that the lead character is black, there doesn't seem to be any major racial tension amongst he and his squad mates. You know, there's banter, of course. They all, like, tease each other or get stressed or, you know, get upset with each other. But there doesn't seem to be uh, any racial motivation or religious motivation or anything like that. In fact, their commanding officer is black and uh, he is treated with the utmost respect as well. Which is very reassuring because when the name like uh, Boyce several times, I thought they were calling him Boy or Boys or, or even Boy. I was like, "What are you talking about?" So I'd actually look up his name. Oh, Boyce. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and this movie is uh, advertised as a war horror film, and when it comes to the war aspect, it's excellent. There's a lot of violence. There's uh, gunfire and bombs and explosions and destruction and uh, people dying left and right and blood and uh, you know attacks and, and it's tense. So as far as the war aspect, it does it uh, very, very, very well. But when it comes to the horror aspect, it's sorely lacking. Now to the film's credit, it's uh, also clearly trying to be a semi-homage to uh, classic horror tales in the sense that uh, if you watch a lot of the classic uh, Frankenstein movies or even uh, the original like uh, Godzilla movies, the creature or the monsters aren't really in the movies that much. It's really more about all the other uh, human uh, characters. So on one aspect, that's fine. But when it comes to the human characters of this movie, I don't really care about them. I don't hate them. I don't, you know, I, I there are a lot more ensemble casts that I can think of that I just totally didn't like at all. But at the same time, I'm not all that interested in them. I mean, for one thing, unless this takes place in a completely different alternate universe, they're going to be successful in their mission and D-Day is going to be successful. So we already know that somehow another mission is going to be successful. Uh, and we're introduced to this full squadron of people, but before the mission can even really begin, almost all of them are killed off. And then even on the way to the mission uh, point, the real mission started for, uh, someone else gets killed. So it's like, okay, not only am I barely interested in these people, but if they can die at any point, if no one really guaranteed to make out of it, then why should I get attached to them? And then the antagonist, who I figured out was the overlord, He's introduced uh, in the second act, and he doesn't come off as a big boss. Now, he comes off as creepy and evil and sinister, but he doesn't come off as a threat until the third film, and I wasn't even sure that he was in charge. I thought he was a type of uh, major underboss, but not the overlord, the boss, because they get the overhead on him, and he's not a threat until that third act. So I was like, oh, you're the overlord, okay? <laughs> so, you know, if the antagonist are nonsense consequential and the protagonist I don't really care about and the uh, mission you know is going to be successful unless it takes place in some type of alternate world uh, it, all you left is the horror aspect and the horror isn't really there this movie is intense and is uh, thrilling and the creatures are very interesting to see uh, and you're definitely shocked but there's, you're never scared, you're never worried, you're never like creeped, I mean, you're creeped out of your spits, but it's like, it, it, this is a horror, there's no horror to this uh, film. So, to its credit, it doesn't uh, mix its tones or anything like that, but at the same time, it's like, if this is, did you want to make a war movie? 
or did you want to make a horror movie? Or what I'm really thinking is someone wanted to make a war movie, was trying to sell it, and then someone at J.J. Abrams' company said, okay, we'll buy this if you can somehow put some monsters in here somewhere. And like, okay, I'll figure out some way to shove monsters and, and creepiness in this, this movie, and then it got green lit. Otherwise, this really should have been a horror, I mean, a, a, a war film, because the horror aspect is sorely, sorely, sorely lacking. Before this movie was released, it was rumored that it was going to be part of the Cloverfield franchise. And I can definitely understand why, because similar to the Cloverfield movies, it's uh, more about the ideas and the characters and suspense rather than the actual creatures or evil or invading aliens or monsters or what have you. Uh, but it's not. It's its own thing. And based on the advertising, I thought maybe it was uh, part of a video game or something because there's this one trailer where it has ACDC's Hell's Bells and there's a lot of gunplay and excitement and explosions and fire and thrills and ah, oh, okay, but, but, but it's not. <laughs> and then, uh, then there's another trailer where it's like where it's creepy, it's suspenseful, and what's behind the curtain? And oh my god, what is that? And, oh my goodness, what have you done? And I was like, okay, is this going to be creepy? Is this going to be schlocky? Is this going to be action? is going to be that. You know, I was really confused. So when it, so now that I've seen the film, it's like, okay, this is essentially a, a war movie that uh, takes place in the Twilight Zone, uh, which is fine. But again, the war aspect, pretty good. Great effects, great action, great sequence, great season. But the horror, the horror is how unhorrifying this film is. <laughs> So yeah, if you want to check it out, go ahead, but you know, you're know you not going to be scared. Uh, go watch it to watch a, a war movie where it's uh, creepy at points, but don't go in this for the horror. Uh, because the horror is so incredibly lacking, along with <laughs> the under-restricting pr protagonist, the non-threatening antagonist, and the fact that we know how this movie is going to end. <laughs> So therefore, Overlord uh, gets a C minus. Okay, those are my thoughts on Overlord. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to share whatever comments you like in the comment section. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, or dislike, share, and subscribe. Once again, I'm High Hill Knight, and remember, find inspiration everywhere. <laughs>